This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for January 26, 2024. It's currently November 5th, 2023, 5.09 p.m. Eastern time. SPY at the time of this reading is currently $434.69. That's USD. And the shuffle video in the, in the corner of the screen that we're going to play for you was created on October 25th, 2023 at 9.01 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video here. So the overall theme of behavior for the 26th is a the establishment of support with some sideways rotation and then a big move higher standing out on a one day chart scale. Um, what's interesting is that the high core, the high significator from the 25th is the uh, gain card. And then we have the gain card as the theme card for the 26th. My sense is that we probably open higher. So this is like this fake out here with this decline into the close. And then we open higher in, in the following day. Behavior around the, the highest high for the day is three pokes through the same price level followed by a sharp decline off of that third poke. Behavior around the low, a notable reversal that'll stand out on a one day chart. And then um, a, a trade advisement is to trade around a decline that increases with momentum moving forward in time. Matter of fact, that card also appears in the prior day. It's really difficult reading, guys. We have a high and a low significator, both nullified, and then a trade card nullified. We don't really have many overlapping congruencies. We've got the hero fan, which is cross-reading congruency. So that tells us about a pop and drop. Uh, but before we go any further, guys, I want to make sure everybody's aware the whole purpose of the channel is to follow the rule of karma and transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill, make the world a better place. We do that here on the resources tab of our website, Tower for Traders, where we expect that people are donating 5% of the profits from every profitable trade should be donated here to one of these charities, and 5% of the profits should be donated back to the channel here at one of these links. It leaves you 90% of the money. Make sure to spend that money out of love. As long as you follow those rules, you're an angel investor of the channel the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold for following through on the rule of karma neglect to follow through on the rule of karma and the universe is going to neglect to follow through on sending you profits through the channel my friends don't be that guy and find out the hard way let's get back into it all right so we have this period of volatility in, in the pre-market and a fast sudden move higher that marks the end of that period of volatility it's kind of like a pop and drop fast sudden move higher because there's like some crisscrossing back and forth around the open and then uh, a crest that forms in the first half hour that we sell off from down two and through support to, and then we do a u-shape reversal below support come back and reuse that price level as support followed by another pop and drop between roughly 10 and 11. There's a resistance level highlighted between 11 and 12 that we've met many times before and failed to break through. And then we rally from like a trough midday. We rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance to meet a second resistance before pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. Yeah, I think that low, the low, there's probably a low there and a low there, guys. Lower than this price level here. This whole day seems to be higher. But sideways rotation and another fast sudden move higher taking us to a key resistance level between roughly two and three ish. Um, a lot of price change, so probably volatility there, like some price swinging back to a trough off of that resistance. But a lot of price change, and one could probably play both directions in the market around the price change there. But that is, and that, that volatility ends with an unexpected move higher in the last hour and a breakout right around the close, maybe taking us back to highs or either highs for the month or highs or high for the day here at the close, most likely. It's hard to say where we open. I think we probably have a high and a low at the, right around the open on the 29th. And we'll talk about that in more detail when we get into the reading for the 29th. That's SPY for the 26th of January, 2024. My friends, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. It really helps with the channel. And don't forget to follow that rule of karma, my friends. The universe is counting on you. I'm counting on you. The channel is counting on you. Your own karma is counting on you. Make sure to do it, my friends. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Blessings, all my angel investors.